Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with a haul from Amazon. So I have been changing some things up and gotten back into more of my junk journaling and things like that. So I was looking for just a few oddball supplies just to kind of fill the gaps so we can get everything straightened out in the cottage. And so I found some really great buys and I thought I would just share. So, I mean, I've been doing all my own, you know, dyeing my paper, getting my stuff ready, things like that. But there's some other things that I thought just look like fun and I thought I would give it a try. So one of the things I have noticed is that Tim Holtz, um, his little kits aren't that expensive. Um, and so I picked up a couple of those. And of course, you know, I shopped all the good things. And then I also picked up some of his um, like phrases and um, they're more like, I guess, um, storybook kind of phrases. So anyways, I thought I would try it. I think it would be fun and be fun things to kind of put in a junk journal. I also picked up another set of just some of these stamps, kind of just the Happy Mail type stamps. Um, I really don't, these don't last super long because I use them a lot and then they just, they literally just wear out. But um, I do like some of the rubber stamps. I just haven't gotten quite back into my red rubber yet. So I'm using these are, goodness, poly, I'm blanking out. Anyways, for acrylic. Anyways, they're not super expensive. Matter of fact, they're pretty doggone inexpensive. I also picked up a couple of these kits and they're just decoupage paper. Um, I wasn't real sure when I saw them what I thought. One of them landed or, or revived, kind of broken open, which is no big deal. But, um, so they have a lot of bits of paper, you know, card, uh, postcard size, little bitty, um, kind of, well, here, I'll show you some of this. It's been sticking out and falling out. There are things like little stamps and, you know, bits and pieces like that. And then there's pictures and then there's cutouts and just a whole bunch of different things that you can just decoupage on. So I think that's always fun. I think it's great to have just a stash of this. Um, again, these are the kind of things that if you collect them off of old, um, you know, envelopes, things like that, you save. They're, they're truly junk. They're, they're truly free. But sometimes every now and then you just got to fill the gap. And these are very inexpensive offerings on Amazon. I think every now and then it's kind of nice to have that. Now, one of the things, I do have tons of washi, but there were some pieces in here that really kind of match some of the projects I'm getting ready to do and or already doing. So, um, anyways, I just thought this, again, inexpensive. Guys, washi tape is one of the cheapest things you can buy. Um, it's just crazy how far that goes with your craft dollars. So, um, Anyways, I really am excited to get, well, I can't, I didn't get this open before. My apologies. Um, I am excited to get back in my craft cottage. We were supposed to move out my old craft room next weekend, but we're probably going to be gone. Um, at least that's the plan. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, some things, you know, have kind of, you know, things change, you know, that works. So I'm super excited. This one I thought was such a pretty wide um washi and of course then you have the maps and i think these are always fun to use and then any kind of botanicals and florals and insects you know butterflies especially i always love those and then the the writing ones i love those i love these just have to writing so alrighty. then i also picked up I'm from the coast, so I saw these. These were super inexpensive. Um, these are polymer. I think these are just polymer stamps. That's what I was looking for a minute ago. And they're just representative of waves. And I think that is really fun. Um, it could be waves. It could be all kinds of things. It could just be geometrical type shapes. So super fun. Very inexpensive. And then I also picked up just bits and pieces of tags and whatnot. So... With this one, um, I hate to say it, but these are the cheapest places you can find tags. There's no other way to say it. You know, these are, you get several hundred. They have the whole punch. They're pretty basic. You can, you can, you know, dye these. You can um, use your Distress Ink. You can use all of that. Sorry for the rattle. 
and then with it comes the you know just the the string to go with it even if you didn't use a string it's still i mean the cost of a ball of string would be the cost of the whole kit so and you just have to keep looking you can't take the first thing that you um that pops up on amazon you just got to keep looking so i also picked up some more of these tags i love these kind of tags they're super easy peasy to use inexpensive um yes same size think i got something going there and then here's all this elastic and i don't know why i ended up doing the elastic ones but you know what it's all going to be fine in the end anyways they'll all get used um i really do prefer them to come like this but let me see yeah they were 100 tags so they're very comparable in price and yeah so there you go same size I also picked up some lace. Now, one of the things you can usually find there is lots of inexpensive lace. So, um, I definitely found some, you know, a couple of three sheets of just various types of lace. I think it really does help. I also picked up just some, I have a lot of things that I'm dying, like I showed you with the coffee and the tea. But I also picked up some just starter pages as well. Out in my cottage, there is tons of Tide paper. I mean, tons of it. I have done so much paper. So anyways, and then I picked up this cute little, I think it's a seven by seven. Um, anyways, it's just a little paper pad. Um, I've got some cards I want to get done this week. So I thought I would just start here. And yeah, so super excited. I think these are really just beautiful pages. Um, they are slicker finish than I like, but they will still do fine. And I will, um, you know, cut out some of the cut aparts, things like that. And they really look like they're almost punch aparts. So <laughs> we can just punch these apart and then they'll all come out. And that'll be nice. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Whoops. And I already showed you this. So, and then I also have... Um, Yep, here's some of that other lace that I got. So I just got off-white and um, uh, white, or ivory and white. Um, I, this is some ribbon I have from, I think that's Felicity Jane order. But anyways, yeah, we don't throw anything away. And then here's some more flat lace that's just off-white. So again, these are really, really nice things to have. Um, I pick up some things from Walmart you know, Dollar Tree, you just have to look, you know, Dollar Tree is your best deal, because you're going to get it for like a dollar, dollar twenty-five, but, um, you know, you just kind of have to look, and of course, I get my doilies there, because I think they're just such a good deal, now, this is an actual um, kit that somebody put together, so you have some book pages in here, they're smaller books, and that's something you really have to watch for when you order from anywhere, Etsy, um, Walmart, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, Amazon, as well as even like uh, eBay. So, but that's okay because I have tons. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of books. I also picked up this. This is just a cute little um, uh, just die kit. Uh, you know, where you have your brushes. And yes, we're going to keep all the bags. So, but I really like this because it does it by color. So you could choose to do red, pink, orange, you know, and just have a pink one or a red one or an orange one. And I used to do one per, you know, flavor and finally just got tired of it. I don't mean to sound rude or anything, but I kind of did. Um, it just gets to be silly. So you'd light blue, dark blue, light purple, dark purple, pink. Um, maybe let one of these be red, orange, yellow. You know, you could kind of do that. And the theory is, so these are really nice, small, easy to use, very soft, very, very nice quality, very inexpensive. And I mean, and look, I've got them in a travel case and I'm good to go. So I think that these are, I think that's it. Um, let me see. I did pick up some distress ink, but it was just a backfill on something. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Again, shop your stashes. Look for things that are inexpensive in your area. 
and see what you can use. Um, I'm really excited. Now, I know people go to garage sales and they come out with things like this. I mean, I've come out with all kinds of things like that. So, you know, just look and see what you can find. Definitely going to be cheaper at a garage sale. So, um, but it wasn't bad. The cost per penny is still cheaper than if you ordered 10 off of Etsy. So anyways, I'll be having some kits I'll be putting together, sharing with you guys. I'll have those on Etsy soon. Um, I'm ready to get back busy. I really am. And I'm excited. Uh, it's been, it's been a season for sure. Just like for so many. So I'm excited to get back to some of my roots and kind of get, get inky again. It's time to get inky. So, all right, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe. We'd love to have you share this with anyone you think would encourage them. And most, in, most importantly, I hope you have a great day. Okay, guys. Love you guys. Y'all take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.